Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends X-Men Stepford Cuckoos figure. And what I found out when I got this figure is that many people don't know how to pronounce that word. I've heard cuckoos, I've heard cuckoos, it is cuckoos, just for those of you who are unsure. This is kind of an interesting release because I'm not sure it's a thing most people expected when it was first announced, and I'm guessing most people figured it wasn't going to be that good. Oddly enough, it's a really strong release. It's not like groundbreaking or anything, but it's really, really decent. So there's some stuff to talk about. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This one stands just about 15 centimeters, which makes it pretty close to, let's say yeah, about five and three quarter inches. And that's pretty much a good size for it, I think. You wouldn't want it any taller. And most of the females in this line are too tall anyway, so I think this is pretty good that it's not as big. And first things first, uh, we have to do a question of the day. This is going to be a pretty easy question. Uh, blonde, <laughs> redhead, or black slash brunette? You can pick. Um, I'm not going to wager a gamble on that one. I'm not going to participate in that at all. Uh, okay, so I actually don't really care, but okay, so first things first about the figure now uh, It looks really good mostly because of the plaid. It's not probably the most accurate plaid ever But that kind of clean line work right there will make a figure stand out and this one does it's very well done The little thing around the neck is painted well enough And that's about it for paint uh, so it's not like it's incredible in any way, but what's there is a good mix of molded colors and a decently applied paint job, and that's really all you need. The hairs have uh, shading in them, or it's a wash. The faces are painted fairly well. The only downside really is that the neck is painted in there underneath the head, and if you're looking at it, you'll notice that it's not the right color. But if you're not really paying attention to it, it's not going to be a problem, so... Other than a few issues from the articulation, aesthetically speaking, Hasbro did a really solid job on this. Again, it's nothing crazy, but it's exactly what it needed to be. The sculpts are clean, paints are clean, it looks like it's like it looks like what it's supposed to. No real gripes about this. So for a Marvel Legends, the aesthetic is gonna be an 8 out of 10. They did a really good job with the right blend of molded parts and painted parts and clean paint job. Now, as far as accessories go, of course, we have the three different heads. We have the blonde head, the red head, and the brunette head, or black hair, whatever. Like, black's brunette, right? Same thing. It doesn't have to be brown. Anyway, uh, they all look pretty good. They all fit properly. No problems there. We do get some alternate hands. We have the two, of, like, effect hands that come on in the package. And then we have two fist hands. That's decent. We have two swooshies, some clear swooshies that go around her arms. And then we get a Cerebro helmet. So that's a pretty good spread of accessories. If you're going to army build... Um, the heads are good, obviously. The alternate hands help for very uh, varying poses. And the swooshies are nice. Cerebro, you probably only need one, but obviously there's nothing they can do about that. Decent spread. Definitely a decent spread. Kind of a necessity for the heads, but still, 7 out of 10. Not bad at all. Maybe you could go higher, but either way, it's not bad. All right, now for the articulation, we have our standard hinge and ball peg and lollipop syndrome. The heads are at the right height. From the front, they look fine. From the side, if you pay attention, you'll see that there's a lollipop going on. And as you pose it around, you'll see that even more. But you do have your standard ball peg and your hinge, which breaks the neck entirely. Everything we've come to know and love from the female figures for them. For the shoulders, better than horizontal range, no issue there. Of course, you have your full rotation, no bicep swivel up there. It's in the elbow where you get just better than 90 degrees and your full rotation. For the wrists, you have a swivel and a hinge. And for the torso, we have a diaphragm joint, which works well enough. It's nothing crazy, but for a character like this, it'll be perfectly fine for adjustment posing. They're not going to be doing a lot of martial arts. That's okay. Is there anything below that at the waist? There is not. Now, there is an interesting feature here, which I suppose is for articulation, uh, but I'm guessing it's more so for all the preverts out there. There's a flap right here on the skirt, which allows it to move up like that. And don't worry, it's fully painted down there. There's no PG-13 warning here. Uh, but it does allow for the legs to move up, so if you did need her to do a kick or to be a pervert, then you can do that and it'll work well enough. Splits work well enough, there's really no issue. Thigh swivel is fine, double jointed knee is fine. We do have a boot swivel at the top of the sock. On this side, I don't know if it's just mine, but there's a huge overlap. There's a meat flap right there going over the sock, but it's not probably super noticeable if you're not looking for it. For the ankles, they go all the way back and all the way forward. Mine are a little bit loose, that may not be a universal issue. 
Decent ankle rocker though, so that's pretty good. Nicely sculpted shoes, didn't mention that. Solid articulation, nothing crazy, but definitely enough for the character. So uh, for a Marvel Legends female, I'll give it an eight out of 10. There's really not much they need to change on this one. So time for a final verdict. A surprisingly good release for a character that probably, I mean, I know people like the character and I'm not trolling like I was in Kang's video, which apparently nobody got. Nobody understood, except for one person understood that that was trolling the whole time and everybody got butt hurt, but I uh, shouldn't be surprised. So this one's actually surprisingly good for a character that's not as essential as some other characters that have not had better releases. And so that's okay. So final verdict on this release. If you're interested in collecting three of these figures, first of all, I'll be selling mine. No, um, if you're interested in it, do it. They're definitely fine releases from Hasbro. If you're a Marvel Legends collector, you're gonna be more than satisfied. So I'm gonna give it a final verdict of eight out of 10. Would recommend. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.